Hello guys, in this video we're going to create uh, an uh, iOS uh, uh, card screen. So the first thing that we're going to do um, is open up Adobe XD and uh, we're going to select the iPhone uh, basic template. So we're just gonna double click on it and uh, as you can see we have now our uh, iOS artboard and uh, inside of it we're going to create uh, our top uh, header. So I'm going to use this rectangle tool in order to create the basic header. I'm going to remove the border and I'm going to add a fill which is uh, around uh, these uh, uh, lines. So let's modify just a little bit. And uh, I'm also going to add uh, a little bit of a drop shadow. I think that this one works just fine. And uh, now let's go and create the actual cards. So with the rectangle tool again, I'm going to uh, create this uh, uh, card shape. I'm going to center it uh, um, relative to the artboard with this uh, align center option. So it was already pretty centered, so that was uh, quite easy. And uh, one thing that I'm going to do is going to duplicate it. So uh, while I, I have this rectangle selected, I'm going to go Command C and then Command V. And uh, now I have two rec exact same rectangles. And um, this time I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So this is going to be the second uh, uh, part of the card. And uh, I am going to use uh, an image uh, on top of this because uh, uh, by doing this I'm going to create the structure of the card so <clears throat> let me go and uh, find the images folder in uh, my finder so that's uh, right over here and uh, as you can see uh, I already have a, a, a selection of images and in this case, I'm going to use this one, which I downloaded from unsplash.com, which is uh, a royalty-free um, image uh, um, site. So since I have the image, I'm also going to remove the border. And uh, in the bottom part, I'm going to keep the border, but I'm going to make it just a little bit lighter so that it doesn't really interfere as much uh, from a visual point of view. So here we go. Um, I'm going to move it just a little bit uh, below. Okay. And uh, now we have the basic uh, card structure. Um, I'm going to add the text. So this card is going to have uh, a basic title. So this is the title of the card and uh, it's also going to have uh, a um, subheadline so also let's change the font uh, to lato and uh, here we go so oops i just duplicated the layer okay um let's redo this here we go. So we have the main title, I'm gonna make it black. And uh, I'm also going to duplicate this, make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, we're going to make this uh, gray. Here we go. Okay, so we have the basic structure of the headline and uh, also the subheadline. And uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. We might consider making this one just a little bit bolder, um, just like this, but it's really up to your preference. And uh, I'm also going to duplicate this uh, card so that we have uh, two of them right here. And I'm also going to uh, select another image for the second um, card. And uh, we might go with something like this. 
So I'm just gonna drag and drop it directly over there. And uh, I'm actually going to use another one because this one has uh, a really white uh, uh, background, which um, is not ideal because um, it's, uh, it's basically fading in with uh, the background a little bit too much for my taste. So let's try this one perhaps. Okay, yeah, this, this one works better since it has a uh, more grayish uh, background color. So, yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. We could uh, enter a headline over here for uh, the header. Um, this could be like the main menu and uh, really the main block of it. So, try with no caps or even the oops again and uh, let's make this one white and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, I think this uh, will help you out uh, if you're starting out with uh, Adobe XD and um, yeah, if you have uh, any questions related to this specific uh, uh, software or if you have any question regarding uh, UI UX design, uh, feel free to let uh, me know in the comment section and uh, I will get back to you. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.